I got an email from somebody the other day who said they'd been watching my videos and they noticed that I use some really intense terms with my kids. And so they said, I wanted to send you this chart that I found online to help you be a better parent. And I said, okay, that sounds great. Let me take a look at your chart. And basically the chart says your words matter. And it says, these are the words that most parents are using. These are the words you should be using instead. So let's just go through these, shall we? Instead of saying, be quiet, try, can you use a softer voice? Now let's just set ourselves into the scene, okay? Your kids have been screaming for three hours. Uh, and, and, and instead of your go-to, which is be quiet, because I'll admit I say it all the time, can you use a softer voice? So let's try that. Children, children, can you use a softer voice? Children, can you use a softer voice? Children, can you use a softer voice? I think I can get on board with that, yes. Yes, I like that, so that sounds good. Okay, instead of saying, what a mess, <laughs> try, it looks like you've had fun. How about we clean up now? Yeah, that's gonna fly because right after I finished cleaning the house for three hours, my kids have destroyed it in under 30 seconds. Of course I'm gonna go in and say, jeepers, looks like you've had a ton of fun. How about we clean up now? I, no, 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 hard pass, I'm not saying that. I don't care how much fun you had, clean up the mess. That's what I'm gonna say. All right, next. I explained how to do this yesterday. Instead of saying that, say, maybe I could uh, show you another way. Maybe, maybe I could show you another way to do this. So let's use that in context. I've been trying to teach my children for years how to flush the dang toilet. Why? Because nobody in the house knows how to flush the toilet. So instead of I explained how, how you flush the toilet yesterday, I have to now say, maybe I can show you another way. However, there's only one way to flush a toilet. The one little flapper. You just gotta push the flapper, okay? I don't understand why I have to explain this in a different manner. Flush the toilet. Flush the dang toilet. Okay, I'm not, I'm not buying this. Okay, instead of saying, stop crying, you need to say, it's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. And you know what, sometimes it is okay to cry. But when you are crying because your brother breathed air into your open eye holes and you are, you are crying for 45 minutes, I'm gonna need you to stop, okay? Nothing is broken. You are perfectly fine. You are annoyed, okay? Relax. As an adult, I am annoyed a lot throughout the day, sometimes six, seven, eight consecutive hours of being annoyed. Get over that, okay? Move on to the next thing. You don't need to cry about that. Uh-uh. Suck it up, buttercup. But seriously, I get it. Words matter, okay? But when you are a parent and you are in the trenches, sometimes you just got to roll, okay? You got to roll with it. Go with your gut. And don't worry. Don't worry about what anybody else is telling you to do or, or saying how you should parent. You've got this. They're your dang kids. Okay, if you need to say be quiet, say be quiet, be done, okay? Take a time out. Every mom needs a time out, all right? For the love.